rejoice with the heaven today for the gift of Saint Vincent de Paul. My dear brothers and sisters, festal greetings of Saint Vincent de Paul from East Africa. I am Father Biju, a Vincentian missionary working in East Africa for almost 25 years. Right now, I am in Kenya, in Nairobi, in one of the retreat centers called Vincentian Retreat Center Thika. When we go through the life of St. Vincent de Paul, this is what we read. Jesus Christ is the rule of the mission. That is what he taught his priest. And he is reminding his priest, go forth missionaries, go forth. What are you still here? Look at the poor, look at the poor souls who are awaiting you, whose salvation perhaps depends on your preaching and catechesis. My brothers and sisters, as we are preparing to celebrate the feast of St. Vincent de Paul, St. Vincent invites each one of us to be a missionary. And today, I would like to introduce a priest. He is a Vincentian priest. His name is Father Anton. And he was working in India, in Kerala, almost 18 years, and his life, it may inspire you, and as he is a missionary, he is really challenging to me and to you. What I would like to tell you, that is all about his commitment and his zeal for the souls. He studied in India, in Kerala. And he never preached the word of God in English. He would like to be a missionary, but the greatest barrier was the language. Myself, even other Vincentian priests, when we go for our holidays in India, we used to invite him to come out of here and you may serve in the soil of Africa. And he was always, he was telling to us, my biggest fear is language. I have never ever preached the word of God in English. And I don't know how can I communicate with the people, how can I share the word of God with them in their language. Actually, he had the desire to come over here and he wanted to serve and he wanted to be a missionary in the soil of Africa. And he was praying for it. And finally, God inspired him. And he entered here in the soil of Africa, in Kenya, in 2022. He is in our community, we are three. And now he is in the soil of Africa more than one year and three months. He is just infant child, maybe in the mission field. But what I would like to convey to you, when he came here, he was struggling to preach in English. But this young missionary, he made a very good effort. He began to work hard. And he put his soul, mind and body into the word of God. And he was spending hours and hours. Usually, if he get a subject to preach the word of God, he was spending almost 18 hours in prayer and preparation. And these days, God has given him the confidence to preach the word of God. And now, this is what he has shared with me. Right now, he has maybe prepared more than 50 sermons in different topics. 
And one who never ever preached the word of God in English, now he is preaching the word of God. And he is a great inspiration for us and also he is a great inspiration for the people of God. And the people of God, they are really appreciating his hard work. As this is a retreat center, thousands of people, they are coming to listen to the word of God. Every Friday, almost 5,000 people, they are coming to listen to the word of God. And also we have two retreats every month. And Father Andrew, he is really, he is preaching the word of God in their language. And my dear brothers, my dear sisters, now I would like to welcome Reverend Father Andrew. And you may listen from him and he would like to greet you. Father Andrew, you are most welcome. My dear brothers and sisters, I am very thankful to God because I am here in Africa. Here, I am seeing the generous heart of the priests. They are wholeheartedly helping us. The flying bird needs sky to fly. The swimming fish need water to see. In the same way, we need the experience of God, the presence of God. The saints experience the presence of God. So by that presence, they have done wonderful things with the, for God. Here, we are celebrating the feast of St. Vincent de Paul. With his lifespan, he has done six saints' work wholeheartedly through his life. He has that much he experienced the presence of God. If you open our heart for the experience of God, God can do wonderful things through our life. May God bless you. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us imbibe the same spirit of our, our heavenly patron, St. Vincent de Paul. And also, let us also learn from this young missionary. He is here just one year and three months. And I would, I would say that he is a zealous missionary. At the same time, St. Vincent de Paul, as he is interceding for us in heaven, he is looking at each one of us. The priest, maybe those who are scared of coming, maybe in mission field, maybe the priest who are scared of taking a step to preach the word of God in the mission field. As we are celebrating this great feast, St. Vincent de Paul may inspire you and St. Vincent de Paul may strengthen you to come over here, maybe in the soil of Africa and preach the word of God. This is our humble prayer for all the missionaries. And also this is our humble prayer for those who are listening this small sharing. God may inspire you to pray for the missionaries all over the world. At the same time, wherever you are, you are a missionary. As you are praying for the missionaries all over the world, you are also moving with us. As you are stretching out your hands towards your God and remembering missionaries all over the world in the presence of God, you are raising up, you are raising yourself to the Lord and God is also going to make you a missionary. And as Father Anton, maybe some of the Vincentian priests, you also may take this challenge and you also may come in the soil of Africa and you may witness for the loving God. The harvest is plenty but the laborers are few. So let's pray for the Lord of the harvest.
to send laborers into the harvest. As we celebrate the feast of our heavenly patron, may God bless you. Happy feast. Uh, dear conferers, it is indeed a great pleasure to wish you all a happy feast of St. Vincent de Paul. We just heard an inspiring story by Father Biju on one of our own priests, Father Ando, who how much struggle he has taken to preach the good news. These days we reflect on the uh, salvation of the soul, zeal for the salvation of the souls. And we see the zeal in Ando. And if this is only a sample of the type of work or the zeal many of our missionaries have exhibited throughout uh, several years in the congregation. Some of them have been beaten, jailed, and due to lack of language, problems arose. They all indicate, like in the case of St. Paul, that they are zealous in spreading the gospel. Let us keep up the, that spirit and may all of us be imbibed by charity which binds all things together. Happy Feast.